Hey, FOB Youth, it's Pastor Cody. Today is day three um, of our Motion X, or Living in Motion devotional. And so today we're, we're talking about how we can live out our calling with God um, and, and how our life can be as Christians. You know, I don't know about you, but for me, life is never perfect. You know, our lives will never be perfect, no matter what we do, no matter where we go. If you are living and breathing right now, chances are you've experienced some tragic thing in your event, whether it's a loss, whether it's hurt, whether it's failure, whether it's sin, whether it's emotions, you've experienced some trials. And the truth is, we were never promised a life without these things. But, but the, the, the crucial thing we need to know is this, is that God is faithful to see you through each and every one of these trials. That whatever we face, God will help us get through those trials. He is always there for us to lean on. He is always there for us to ask questions. He's always there and will always use what the enemy intended for bad for his good, for us to learn, to bring us closer to him, for us to um, be brought into his presence. And so, Jesus frees us from living from our problems and helps us to live from God's promise. So remember, God is powerful. God is perfect. God is lacking nothing. And so as God begins to change us and, and change our perspective and um, change how we do our devotional life, and as we seek him through our word and prayer, he will start to work in those changes. Um, he, he will start to bring us closer to him. We believe that God is faithful and God listens and hears us for what we have. And so he will always use what the enemy intended for, for our bad, for his good. So no matter how crazy, no matter how chaotic our lives become, remember, as we step into our homes, as we step back into school in the fall, as we... Um, see our family or see our friends, knowing that we are more than conquerors because of who Christ is and because he was always with us. He brings us, you know, that, that fire. And you can read that in Romans 8, 35 through 37 in our scripture verse for today, is can anything ever separate us from Christ's love? Does it mean he no longer loves us if we have trouble or calamity or are persecuted or hungry or destitute or in danger or threatened with death no despite all these things overwhelming victory is ours through christ who loved us or john 16 31 through 33 but the time is coming indeed it is here now when you will be scattered each one going his own way leaving me alone yet i am not alone because the father is with me or James 4, 7 through 10. So humble yourselves before God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Come close to God and God will come close to you. Wash your hands, you sinners. Purify your hearts. For your loyalty is divided between God and the world. And I'm not just saying wash your hands because of COVID-19. But, you know, we need to be asking for forgiveness. Asking and knowing when we've done something wrong that God can forgive that and we are washed clean. So today, I want to challenge you, is this, is whatever you've been doing in your life, whatever you've been asking God to, you know, help you with or overcome or um, walk through, no matter how hard life can be, remember that God is always there with you. He is faithful to help you walk through whatever life may throw at us. So I want to pray for you. Read this devotional. Read the scriptures. Look over that. Take some time and really dig into this. But I want to pray. Lord, I thank you for these students, God. I thank you for the opportunity that we have. But Lord, I pray that no matter what life may throw at us, no matter what we may face, Lord, let us not be discouraged. Let us not turn from you and turn back to the world. But Lord, let us dig deeper and dig into your presence, dig into your word and spend time learning, being encouraged 
and deepening our faith in you. I pray that in Jesus' name, amen. Awesome. We love you, youth. We love you, parents and friends who are watching in. Tune in tomorrow for day four and really take your devotional life to a whole new level by walking along with us through our Living in Motion devotional. We love you. See you tomorrow.